Chris Kelly here, and, and before I get to how I'm going to help keep you out of a nursing home in the future, or to help you with any artistic uh, family members you might have, I want to explain my unkempt uh, condition here. Uh, it was just two nights ago that I was uh, in an ambulance going to the emergency room, and I'm still uh, trying to recover this from this long-term exposure to the heavy metal cadmium. I'm taking the heavy metal detox. It's a very long process. I've seen some improvements uh, and I've also seen setbacks. But this video is so important because this video is going to be the one that saves not only your life from a future uh, trip to the, not just a trip, but a destination to a nursing home, but everyone else as well because all of us are suffering right now, believe it or not, from some level of cloudiness in our brain and in our brain fluid. And I'm going to explain all this to you. I'm going to show you how you solve the problem very easily. And, uh, and then you're going to do it, you know, if you have a family member who has uh, dementia or you have a family member who has, has autism, you'll see dramatic results typically within a few seconds unless this person is so far gone that they're you know going to be leaving us in a matter of days or weeks or whatever you know, if they're in a coma maybe you won't notice anything then but it would give them a better quality of life uh, before they pass um, so with that and then you're going to, when you get the results you're going to come right back to this video and you're going to share the specific results I'm sorry, I, I'm kind of excited because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here, depending on if, whether I can get rid of this heavy metal or not. You know, I could have a blood clot at any time or an infection at any time, and I could be gone or end up, or unable to take care of myself and end up in a nursing home myself, uh, not because of dementia, but because of my leg condition and what, uh, whatever. I don't know. You know, you got a fever, could burn out your brain cells. Uh, that's possible too. So anyway. Uh, so you're going to come back here and, sh and, and leave a comment and you're also going to share the video because that's how we're going to fix this problem is worldwide. So let me describe to you uh, specifically what this problem is and if you're a doctor grab this and, 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 and get yourself a Nobel Prize. I won't be here, you know, it takes 10 or 20 years to be finally awarded and it's highly unlikely that I'll still be here. So go ahead and do that. Or if you're a school administrator, uh, probably private schools will allow you to do this. I don't know about public schools. I want you to do this as well in schools and so we can have a rapid deployment of this healing energy that heals not just you in, in your home, but actually goes out in all directions through, through your walls. And uh, anyway, so let's get, let me get started here. And it's going to be a description of your brain, how it works, part of it. The, your brain, the whole area of your brain has two layers of rivers, kind of like the uh, Everglades, all over your brain in a fluid. And we only have about four ounces of this fluid at any given time. However, our body makes four times or four or five times that much in any given day. So it's washing out your brain, clearing out your brain. It, it takes the the fluids pick up the dead cells and the other anything else that might get into impurities in your brain and washes them out through what they call the glymphatic system which is very similar to the lymphatic system and in fact it connects with the lymphatic system and it drains out all the stuff that wasn't there you know if the, if the fluid with a 20 i think it's 20 ounces of 16 or 20 ounces of fluid that your body makes every day if it didn't get washed out our heads would be this big in, in a very short time right so, so that's this process. It's always washing out, washing out, washing out. Well, if it, if it, if you don't make enough of it, or it's not moving fast enough, then it, it starts to stagnate. And and so now, when something stagnates, it gets you know kind of dead. Think of a dead pond, a, a stagnant pond, and the, you know what you get, what you're dealing with. You see the green scum. You might have green scum in here. In other words, you got stinking thinking or dirty thoughts, <laughs> you know, right? So we want, to, we want to clear that out. Well, how, what makes it move? Because it doesn't move by gravity, because it's moving up and down all over. 
It's moving because in your brain, in the third ventricle, are what are called cilia. These are tiny little hairs, about one hundredth the, the diameter, or yeah, diameter of, of your human hairs, and they move in concert with each other, and they move fluid. Well, back in the, the I think it was the mid '60s, at uh, the University of California, doctors Krieger and Smith uh, did a study, and they found that the that the cilia in our body is activated by negative ions. That normally the average was about 900 beats a minute, but when it was exposed to negative ions, it it sped it up so the fluid could move faster, right? But when they put positive ions, which is what we get from copying machines, computers, you name it, Wi-Fi in stores and in places of business, you know, where you work, at home, uh, your smart meters, I call them smart beaters, all of those are putting out and generating lots and lots and lots of positive ions. So if you measure negative ions in a building, you'll find that they could be very, very low, even down close to zero. But if you go to the ocean and measure it by a, an ocean wave, you'll find five to 10,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter at, per second. And if, same thing with a waterfall, similar, and in the woods. Uh, I believe in the woods it's like 2,500 to 5,000 uh, negative ions being generated. And in all those places, people feel great. They feel good, right? So, but the, the positive ions are slowing down the cilia, causing everything to stagnate. So everybody, everybody you know, including yourself, all have some level of a polluted brain right this moment. And people with Alzheimer's, well, when the stuff slows down, it gets sticky. You ever hear of amyloid plaque? Yeah. And, and they don't work in concert when they slow down, so the fluid can get stuck. And when that happens, people have dementia, and, it, and they die, you know, and you, you know if you've been, ever taken care of someone with, with, with Alzheimer's, it's not a pretty picture. Same thing with autism. And I want to tell you two stories. Um, at first, I want to show you something so that you won't think that what I'm saying is, uh, you know, what I'm proposing is pretty, pretty wild. And so I want to give you something to anchor it in so that you can see that what I'm telling you is going to be effective. And this is a picture from a book from 90 years ago of a woman. She's 84, 82 years old. I, I have to look it up here. I believe she's 82. 82. And she had cancer. These are black and white pictures, and you're going to see the before and after of being exposed to the kind of energy that I'm talking about. All right? So let's see if you can see that. And notice not just the tumor being gone. Of course, it's, she's got new flesh where it was. And look at her chin line, how much younger she looks. Does she look 82 in this picture here? Not close, right? But she was 82, and she was 82 in this picture. You can see how, how rough her skin looks. In the, you know, uh, her, her upper lip, all of that. Let me bring this into you closer so you can really get a good look, all right? So this is the sort of energy that I'm talking to you about that you'll be able to use that can also help with things like dementia and autism. And, and, and I'm going to share with you two stories. Uh, one is a little boy, eight, seven or eight years old, was back during uh, Hurricane Michael. I was helping a family, and the uh, child was in the back of my car. With, you know, the whole family was in the car. And he had autism, and he started kicking the back of the seat. We were, ha we were at, a, at a convenience store at that time. And he just started kicking the back of the seat. And so I, I had with me one of the things I used to uh, create negative ions. In fact, it was one of these here. Uh, these are whirling bliss machines. They, gener they do the same kind of thing um, that we're going to be talking about how you're going to do it. And it, it, they, those are manual. You spin them because they're on fidget spinners. And they generate frequencies and negative ions. And so we, I turned around on the seat and we started spinning it in front of him, you know, close to him. And within a, two, three seconds, he calmed down. His mother was blown away. She said he usually, once he starts that, that pattern, he just freaks out. 
and but it, it didn't happen. So we immediately, just by introducing these ions that got the cilia moving in his head, he calmed down. Now the other one is, uh, I, I forget how old she was, she was about 97, 98. She was in a nursing home and went to visit her. I went to visit her with a friend of mine, it was her, her mother. And uh, she was sitting, uh, uh, Jeannie was sitting across the table. She couldn't see what I was doing, but I had under the table a, a motorized little little tiny fan uh, thing going, and it was running while we were talking. Now, normally at that time when you s tried to speak to her, her her conversation was not coherent, and it wasn't necessarily related to what you were talking about. And it would be like that the whole time. She could talk, she put words together, but they didn't. They weren't related to anything. You, 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 I think you, you're all familiar with that if you've been around someone with dementia. So I had this thing running, and for two hours we spoke, and she was able to follow along the conversation and to respond to it and to add her own things, and almost everything she said made sense. There was one moment, about a minute, where it started to drift off, and that's because I guess I, I don't remember now, but I think I had to replace the battery or something. And uh, and during that time, her conversation fell down again and she was not coherent. I got it going and she was speaking just fine. Towards the very end of the two hours that we were with her, I guess she got tired. Uh, her conversation started to become more, less coherent. But in any case, there it was for two hours she was we had resolved it. Um, unfortunately, I had a, a little bit of a problem with, with my friend's sister, et cetera, et cetera. I wasn't allowed to bring any more, any more devices in uh, for her, so you know, that's, that's, that's life, isn't it? And that's what happened. So in any case, so I'm going to invite you to do this. It's very, very inexpensive, and you're going to, you might notice something right away, you might notice something, if you have a family member who has dementia or autism, you might see a change in them immediately. Uh, what you will notice also is that you're going to sleep better that night, and, and you're going to feel more energized the next day. And I promise you, you will see uh, improvements. Now, now, it isn't as if these frequencies are the only cause of dementia or, else, or autism, but all of them have this component as part of it. So they have it maybe caused by something else, but made worse by the fact that these, by th th these frequencies uh, being the wrong kind, or the, or the uh, ions being the wrong kind, and causing the slowing down of the cilia in the brain so the fluid doesn't move and keeps everything cloudy. So we can improve that part of the, of the condition and, uh, and go from there. So what you do, it's so simple, is you take a copper wire and you, here's a copper wire, and this one's already been twisted. You, you take, and you have a ceiling fan or a record player, either one will work. Uh, you, what you do is, you, see a copper wire has the energy flowing from one end to the other, one direction. But then you, you bend it in half, and now, the, now the, the electrons are flowing in both directions. Now you want them to become in as close contact as possible, so you get yourself a power drill if you don't have one, and you stick the, 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 the uh, loop down in, into the power drill, hold the other end with a pair of pliers, and then gently let it twist, gently, 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 until, whoops, <laughs> I didn't have this tight now, well it's caught in there. Um, so you let it gently twist and, uh, until you feel it start to buckle. And you're going to take these and tape them vertically, you know, lengthwise, on the top side of your, of your, each blade of your ceiling fan, each blade. If you have five ceiling fans in your home, you're going to do it on all five. And you tape them on there, and you turn it on. The heavier the gauge, the stronger it will be. Because now that they're, they're, the, the copper is in constant contact with itself, so it is, those electrons are like going like this, bumping into each other and they're generating frequencies. And then when you turn on the fan, 
It's like what Tesla did with the invention of, of the hydroelectric plant. You're using spinning copper, and they could send electricity 500 miles. You're not going to be making electricity because we're not using magnets. You're just creating frequencies, which also generate positive ions. And your whole household is going to be better, and so will your neighbors. My neighbors, I've, I've told this story many times, they used to argue. I'd hear, you know, I'd go out the door, and half the time I'd, I'd hear them arguing. When I put these on a record player, this kind of thing on a record player, uh, in that case, you make a loop, make a circle. Uh, un but don't connect the circle, just leave it open. And put three of them on there, that would be good. Different sizes. And turn on the record player. And what happened is, for the, in the next two years, they argued twice. They went from arguing all the time, or at least half the time that I would go out the door, to arguing twice. And I could hear them across the road. It's about, I don't know, maybe as close as 50 yards, maybe 70 yards away. And I'd hear them in their house. So this stuff works. Um, all this information is free. The copper wire won't only cost you a few bucks. The tape, if you don't have the tape, it'll cost you a few bucks. And you do this. And, and we're going to change the world because this energy is going to improve everybody. Everybody right now has a cloudy brain. Everybody. So by getting enough of these going, we are going to be changing that so that our brains work clearly and, and we get rid of the stinking thinking. People won't be feeling irritated. I think that's my neighbors will probably feel feeling irritated easily. So we're going to remove the irritation and we're going to add vibrancy. Is that going to make a better world? So, yes, it is. And it's going to protect you in the future from ending up in a nursing home. So, let's make this video go viral because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here because this, is, this process, there's no guarantees that I'll get better. I could get better, but it's, you know, there's always the risk that something can happen and bingo, you know, in the middle of the night, something goes wrong and, I, and a blood clot develops and I'm gone. Or I end up, or I end up in a nursing home with a stroke, or something like that. So this might be the last video. I don't know. I could make a hundred more videos, but this is the one where we're going to be letting people know how they can get help. And because they, you're going to see dramatic changes in autism behavior and in in dementia behavior, it's going to be striking. And so we're this is this is how we're going to going to save the world. We're going to create gardens of Eden everywhere uh, by you sharing this video and by you leaving a comment with specific details. With specific details. I, I know I get a little excited and get a little bit, I, I get a little demanding, but that, when you leave a specific detail, a hundred people could see that and institute this. And so you have saved a hundred lives, and actually the, all the lives in the families. You know, nursing homes is a booming business, and it's going to keep be even more booming as we go, except that there just aren't enough people to do it. Pretty soon the society is just going to break down, it's going to be like San Francisco everywhere. You know, and then it's just, too, you know, it's just, it's just too, too big a problem to handle. But now we're going to solve it, and you're going to solve it first for yourself, and then you're going to come back here and you're going to pay me back by leaving a comment and by sharing this, subscribing and sharing this video. By, oh, by the way, the, YouTube will not show you my videos, my future videos, unless you subscribe. So you have your own motivation there to do that. Um, I've already gone on for 19 minutes and plus. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. We're going to change the world. Somebody's going to win a Nobel Prize. Some schools are going to be saved. And it's going to spread like wildfire when people find out. You know, you try to get in between a mother and her, and her autistic child. Uh, with You know, if you're trying to block the cure. They, they won't be able to. We don't need permission to do this. You can do this. You can do it now. You can go to the store right now. You can get your, If you don't have a power drill, get one. And get the tape and do this. Put it on your ceiling fans or put it on your record player. And you will see a huge difference. And then you will pay the world back. You will pay it forward by sharing this video 
by leaving a specific comment and by subscribing. Have I, have I made it clear? I know I sound kind of rough, but you know, uh, I, <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, posthumously I'll become one of the most famous people in the world. Who knows? That's my payment. So you take care and God bless.